Good evening and welcome to Richard Flores Stadium. It is with great pride to support our teams tonight. Your presence here is such a visual show of support for this great school district. It is because of you that the Edmund School District has been successful. Thank you and let's have a great night. Go Bobcats, go Cougars, go Jaguars, go Sabercats. Let's go and have a great night. Hello and welcome back to Edinburgh TSD's 2023 football season. I am Superintendent Maite Salinas and we are excited to see our athletes, our musicians, our dancers, cheer squads, fans, parents, back here at Richard R. Florida Stadium. This year we have made state-of-the-art improvements to our video board, sound system, and lighting system to make the stadium experience even better. Our goal is to provide an opportunity for young people to engage in programs that draw upon their individual talents and will contribute to their life lifelong success. We firmly believe that co-curricular and extracurricular programs help students become team-oriented problem solvers who are confident and are able to think creatively. We are looking forward to a great season and we wish all great success. Good evening, Bobcat fans and visitors. It is my honor to welcome you to Richard Florida Stadium. I am Edinburgh High School Principal, Dominic Pena. As a product of ECISD and a proud graduate of Edinburgh High School, I wish to welcome you all to an exciting year of Bobcat football. We built this city. Edinburgh, the two-time All-American city, was initiated on Bobcat pride and guiding principles that began in 1917 with the establishment of Edinburgh High School. Bobcat pride founded our community from its inception bearing our nation's patriotic colors, red, white, and blue. Our Bobcat history includes several distinguished members of our community, such as notable alumni, veterans, students, and faculty, continuing to serve as a beacon to all other surrounding campuses. Edinburgh High School has a proud tradition in academics, athletics, clubs, and fine arts, preparing students for the next generation as professional leaders. In essence, Edinburgh High School built this city through excellence, pride, and tradition, and will always stay true to the values of our city was founded on. Bobcat Pride then, Bobcat Pride now, and Bobcat Pride forever. Some of the great inspirational people in my life are teachers or educators. So I thought it'd be a great opportunity for me to do what they do. So that's how I chose teaching. <laughs> my third grade teacher at Robert E. Lee, and she saw my love for math and she just allowed me and showed me how to run with it. So I give her that credit all the time. The last time I spoke to her, I told her, I still love math because of you. <laughs> been teaching for 22 years. Some of the highlights are um, being invited to different events, watching my students grow, um, being able to see them become eighth grade, ninth grade adults. Some of them now work with me as teachers. So some of the highlights is just being able to keep up with them and being able to see how they come back and they tell me their story. <laughs> I really believe that you have to be open to understanding that students, children, and even your employees, they're all very different. So if this is something you want to do, you're going to have to understand that you're going to come into a world of many different minds and different attitudes and different characters. And if you're open to that, if you really, really want to see how you're going to influence and make an impact on that kind of person, because I feel that I even learn from my teachers as well as my students, then teaching would definitely be something you should do. Be open-minded and be ready to sometimes have good days and sometimes have struggling days. Um, always ask for help, especially your veteran teachers. Make sure that you seek them out. They're always willing to help. And get to know each and every individual student. Know that they all have a story and it's important that you value them because if you value them, they'll know and they'll value you. Edinburgh CISD is offering Pathways to Success, 
our district is committed to fostering growth, creativity, and critical thinking in every student. Join us and be part of Edinburgh CISD. Today we had physical exams uh, where we tested vision, hearing, and some of us did blood pressure. It's important for the safety and health of all the students uh, throughout the school year so we can find out anything that needs to be monitored during the school day or months. We do state mandated screenings right now too. That's part of our health initiatives. And so we are screening for vision, hearing, scoliosis, and while we're at it, we're doing a little education along the way, making sure that everyone understands what good health is, good hygiene, and just kind of enforcing the things that we already know works, hand washing. We were assisting South with their screenings for vision, hearing, height and weight, and echinthosis. We want to make sure that students, if there's any difficulties with their screenings and anything that we want to make sure um, they're um, having issues with, we can address that right away so they can get uh, glasses or hearing aids, anything to assist them in their learning abilities. All right, so here we have our Canterbury chess team. We practice twice a week. Um, we go to Saturday tournaments, and those are all day, regular school day, 8 to about 3, 3.30. Um, last year, we actually took our kids all the way to Nationals, which was in Baltimore, and that was a really neat experience because we got to play kids from all over the world. So I hope we do get to go again this year to Columbus, Ohio for Nationals. The, the skills that these kids are learning are social skills, um, teamwork, uh, responsibility, a lot of uh, cooperation, understanding. They do a lot of fundamentals. Uh, sometimes we give kids uh, assignments in chess that do involve a little bit of math, so it's good that the kids know how many points uh, each piece is worth. Well, really, the team accomplished so far is, like, we've won first place at many tournaments and uh, a lot of the kids have been getting improving on their skills. Some schools have playgrounds and out there I was playing, I played with some other kids from like different schools too. So like whenever we see each other, we say hi, like at tournaments, cause we make friends. I like playing against new kids and like having new challenges. Our chess team is a really neat group that we have of individuals anywhere from kinder through fifth grade. Um, we usually have tryouts at the beginning of the school year and we always have a really big group of kids try out which I think is amazing because I really think they're going to grow to love it. beneficial for all of our students because we provide opportunities to everyone and by everyone I mean those that want to pursue a, a post-secondary education to a four-year degree college a two-year degree college or even those that just want to acquire a certificate or those that want to go straight into the workforce it's very important for them to join a career and technical education class because maybe they're kind of stuck in their math class, kind of stuck in their English class. And I feel like uh, most of the times it's because they don't have that tactical or that hands-on. And we provide a lot of that hands-on. A lot of the times a student is stuck in their math or reading class because they think, well, what am I going to use this for? I believe that our career and technical education classes is something that they're able to apply not only every day, but they also see a future in it like, oh, I'm going to graduate with a certificate. There's a purpose to this. There's a purpose why I'm learning this. So that's why they like coming to our classes. That's why they enjoy our classes because they see a purpose and they actually see the outcome and something they can make out of it. So we offer many, many certificates to all of our students. Uh, we can offer anything from automotive certificate all the way to a pharmacy technician certificate. So off campus, we offer around 25 programs. On campus, we offer more, and those on campus programs prepare you for these off campus courses.
We've had a lot of response from our parents and guardians wanting their kids to join CTE just because they know the opportunities or those that don't know, they, they start to learn our opportunities and get to know that their students graduate fully certified. So to them, it means savings, a lot of savings. You could graduate as a fully licensed pharmacy technician, which will save you thousands and thousands of dollars. So obviously, I recommend all students to join CTE programs because we provide more than just your basic classes. We provide those fun, interesting, hands-on courses. Like I said, on campus or off campus, we provide opportunities that it incorporate your basic knowledge skills like English, math, but in a more extensive way uh, into where you uh, are able to use your hands, your mobility, and you're able to learn more. You're able to apply the skills rather than just learn the skills. For a lot of students, the CTE program is probably something that they're gonna get a certificate in and obviously pursue higher education or maybe join the workforce. So I believe CTE offers that opportunity to uh, expand your knowledge, get a certificate, but it also provides the opportunity to kind of explore. So today we're at Memorial Middle School hosting the first fall eSports elementary tournament for Edinburgh CISD. So it's a perfect timing to have a type of event like such as this one. We have 28 of the 30 elementaries participating today. You know, we look forward into having more of the upcoming winter one. So we're just very grateful that we were selected as a campus to host and organize this massive tournament for the district. You have to remember, I'm from the old school, so I played Centipede and Pac-Man and all the Atari games. So, you know, this new era, new generation, I needed to find out and see what these kids, what appealed to them. And so that's the reason why I got into eSports and to see, you know, which way we can work that into the classroom experience as well, you know, to get these kids to perform better. I was surprised. I didn't think I would see so many people that were dedicated to this type of program and that also do anything about it. And so, and then uh, the level of interest from the kids, you know, is, is on a grander scale than I ever thought it would be. So, uh, you know, that did take me by surprise. I'm actually, I've actually coached here at Memorial Middle School and prior to that I was at Brown Middle School where we started steam clubs and one of the clubs that I started was eSports at that middle school and then when I came over here and I heard that Edinburgh CISD was actually looking forward into investing into the eSports, we're like super stoked here at Memorial because it brings that much more to our campus and we're building next level general, next general level athletes and what made me get more involved is the simple fact that giving back to our community and to our kids would actually keep them out of trouble and keep them more engaged. You have those kids that are really not sociable, that get them out of their shell a little bit through gaming and just being a part of the committee for ECISD and being able to orchestrate and put together this great competition for the elementaries. It kind of gives us, us, the sponsors from the middle school, to see what type of athletes are coming up the ranks in esports for upcoming years for Memorial Middle School and Barrientos and all of that. Like, when I got the paper to go to the tournament, I was happy. And then when I came, I was nervous. And so I fought the first guy and then I won. And I was like, oh, so I could keep on winning. But on the fourth round, I thought I was gonna lose, but I didn't. We practiced a lot on Thursday since, I think the like second week of school, like the second first week of school, we got the UIL paper and then we joined eSports and we were practicing, we practicing until we got to the tournament. The best I think of eSports is that it's fun, it's competitive, it's challenging and do, and, and you're gonna meet everybody. <laughs> The students that we have, a lot of them are kind of, uh, you know, 
introverts, you know? And so at this point in time, when they have to collaborate with each other, all of them have gotten together and they start to work harder and they start to open up, making new friends, uh, you know, also talking out some of their problems with each other. And you see the companionship that grows with that, which goes into the classroom also when they work in small groups. Half of these students, you know, who used to just sit there quiet, now they actually talk to each other. They're not afraid to go to the board and work out problems and just, you know, makes the classroom experience a lot more fun and entertaining. Blended Learning incorporates teacher teaching through uh, modeling and guided practice with the students using foldables or journaling or any type of lesson, but also incorporating the students in their learning by using uh, integrated technology. Every subject we're doing in class, they're daily using their Chromebooks, using technology, using the internet. Your Edinburgh High School Fighting Bobcats. Number zero, Nick Gonzalez. Number one, Ryan Abrego. Number 11, Angel Torres. And number 53, Adrian Salinas. And the rest of the Edinburgh High School Bobcat senior football players. The officials for tonight's game are as follows. Referee David Corona, umpire Sammy Cavazos. Headlinesman, Steve Martinez. Line judge, Eloy Martinez. Back judge, Rudy Garcia. Side judge, Lupe Rivera Jr. And field judge, Mark Resendez. Introducing the 2023-2024 Edinburgh High School Varsity Cheerleaders. Freshman, Caitlin Perez, daughter of Juan Perez and Angelica Leva. Freshman, Ashley Quilantan, daughter of Manuel and Delia Quilantan. Freshman, Sofia Trevino, daughter of Noel and Marisol Trevino. 
Sophomore, returning varsity, Gabriela Lucio, daughter of John and Grace Lucio. Sophomore, returning varsity, Sofia Mori, daughter of Noe and Elisa Mori. Sophomore, Jordan Vela, daughter of Neri Vela and Monica Luna. Junior, Leila Arteaga, daughter of Martin and Lupita Arteaga. Junior, returning varsity, Rebecca Ayala, daughter of Richie and Edna Ayala. Junior, returning varsity, Vieli Barron, daughter of Eleno Barron and Victoria Limas. Junior, returning varsity, Rose Ponce, daughter of Hector Ponce and Irma Ponce. Junior, returning varsity, Azalia Torres, daughter of Adam and Jennifer Torres. Senior, Lucia Flores, daughter of George and Dora Flores. Senior, returning varsity, Alyssa Lozano, daughter of Santos and Mari Lozano. Senior, returning varsity, Natalia Lucio, daughter of John and Grace Lucio. Senior, Captain, returning varsity, Vivian De Leon, daughter of Alonso and Melissa De Leon. And Senior, Captain, returning varsity, Anissa Ramirez, daughter of Rick and Araceli Ramirez. Last week's cheerleader of the week was Anissa Ramirez, sponsored by Bobcat Cheer alumnus, Brianna Perez Hernandez. This week's cheerleader of the week is Gabriela Lucio, sponsored by Bobcat Cheer alumnus, Lauren Perez. And now let's welcome the Cougars to Bobcat Country. Ready, hi, Cougars. We'd like to welcome you to the home of the Bobcats, the red, white, and blue. H. E double L O Edinburgh says hello. The Edinburgh High School cheerleaders are the nine time NCAA national champions. Best of luck this season to the pride of Edinburgh, the EHS Bobcat cheerleaders. The Edinburgh High School cheerleaders are coached by Eva Guerra. At this time, at this time, we will have the Edinburgh High School Student Council welcome. On behalf of Edinburgh CISD Superintendent, Dr. Mario H. Salinas, and our principal, Mr. Dominic Benya, we want to warmly welcome you to Richard R. Flores Stadium. We pray that both teams have an injury-free game, display good sportsmanship, and return home safely. And tonight, under these Friday night lights, we hope to make memories that will be cherished for a lifetime. 
Again. Again. Good luck Good to luck both, both teams. teams. And go Bobcats. Now to give the response is the Edinburgh North Student Council. Welcome football fans. Thank you for the warm welcome. My name is Sophia Dempsey and I am the 2324 Student Council Vice President. It is our honor and privilege to represent Edinburgh North High School and its accomplishments. ENHS is home to 64 AP scholars, 9 AP scholars with honors, 9 AP scholars with distinction, and 17 students who received the National Hispanic Recognition Award. We look forward to a memorable year and hope you will join us in the Cougar spirit. Go Cougars! Before we start the alma maters, on behalf of the Edinburgh Bobcat football program, Coach Rene Guzman and football staff, we thank you for your support. Tonight we present and pay tribute to the future of Edinburgh Bobcat football. Working side by side with our Bobcat Booster Pride Booster Club, we would like to introduce you to our Bobcat buddies and our Barrientes Middle School football programs. Let's give them a round of applause. Today the Bobcat buddies for the first time are meeting they're Bobcat football players. They are standing alongside them. These future Bobcats will soon be carrying on the tradition of the Sons of the Red and Blue as tonight our seniors will pass the torch to these youngsters as they play their last home game of, of the regular season. The Bobcat tradition lives on Bobcat pride. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the presentation of the Edinburgh North High School alma mater. Remain standing for the presentation of the Edinburgh High School alma mater. A friendly reminder to respect our flag, national anthem, and the military servicemen and military women who have served our country by not saying the name of the mascot at the end of the national anthem. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to midfield for the presentation of colors by the Edinburgh High School JROTC. The color guard for tonight's game is being presented by the Edinburgh High School Bobcat Battalion. Cadet Lieutenant Colonel John Vasquez commands the Bobcat Battalion under the direction of Chief Warrant Officer for Salvador Chavez and Sergeant First Class Micaela Reyes. Commanding the color guard and carrying the U.S. flag is Cadet Sergeant Major Kayla Almazan. Cadet Corporal Jed Lasoya is carrying the Texas flag. The right guard is Cadet Captain Edward Espinosa and left guard is Cadet Corporal Henry Wynn. 
at the south end of the stadium. Cadet Lieutenant Colonel John Vasquez is commanding the flag raising team. The flags at half staff in honor of the victims and survivors in Lewiston, Maine. Ladies and gentlemen, kindly remove all headgear. Put your right hand over your heart as we honor America with the national anthem. The national anthem will be sung by the Edinburgh High School Singer Chorale. Please direct your attention to the Jumbotron. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glow the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled That was Alexis Chavez, a member of the Edinburgh High School Senior Choir. Great job. Ladies and gentlemen, please be advised that for tonight's game, we will be emphasizing both Edinburgh High School and Edinburgh North throughout the game. We are emphasizing the city of Edinburgh, community of Edinburgh, students and athletes. Thank you for your understanding. Head coach Damian Gonzalez and your Edinburgh North Mighty Cougars. <laughs> Leading the Bobcats out to the field, the Barrientes Bearcats. Head coach Rene Guzman and your Edinburgh High School Fighting Bobcats.
Turning the kickoff for the Bobcats. He's brought down by number five, Horacio Lopez. Possession, Edinburgh High School. Ball being set at the 29 yard line. First and 10, Edinburgh High. Quarterback JT Santa Maria up the middle on the quarterback run. Defensively for Edinburgh North, number 24, Jaden Rodriguez. Bobcat offense being directed by quarterback JT Santa Maria. The offensive coordinator is Jimmy Young. is complete to number 12 JC Valdez with that reception ball being set at the 38 yard line third and one on the Bird Ogden Daligas run for Abrigo and the Bobcats. The Cougar defense being directed by Coach Lonnie Garza. Ball at midfield, first and 10, Edinburgh high. 10.32 left to play in the first quarter. Running with the ball is Ryan Abrigo. He's flipped by Horacio Lopez. Short gain of three yards sets up a second and seven from the 47. Santa Maria's pass is complete to number four, Ethan Calderon. Calderon brought down by Eli Cardenas. Touchdown, Ryan Abrigo and the Edinburgh Fighting Bobcats. Injury timeout.
the injured player for the for the Cougars is number four Angel Rodriguez. Deep snapping on the extra point, number 50, Ryan Garza. Jaden Once of Ice will be attempting the extra point at the hole of number six, Jude Vega. Extra point is up and good. 918 left to play in the first quarter. The Bobcat seven, the Cougars zero. Kick returners for Edinburgh North. North. Number one, Jose Ramirez. And number 26, Rolando Ortega. Kicking off for the Bobcats, number 40, Jaden Monsevice. Officials are indicating kickoff recovered by the Cougars. Possession, Edinburgh North High School, ball being set at the 36 yard line. First and 10 for the Cougars, 9.17 left to play in the first quarter. Cougars will be directed by quarterback number 11, Tyler Reese. The offensive coordinator is Oscar Campos. And off to number 10, Ulysses Melendez. Melendez going to the right side of the field. He's bought down at the 39 yard line by Ryan Garza. The defensive coordinator for the Bobcats is MJ Garza. This game is being broadcast on Edinburgh CISD YouTube. We'd like to welcome all the YouTube viewers to this game. Reese's pass to Aaron Campos is incomplete. With that incompletion, third and seven from the 39. Tyler Reese's pass to Jose Ramirez is complete. Ramirez brought down at the 45-yard line by Nicholas Gonzalez. With that reception, the Cougars will have a first and 10 at the Bobcat 46-yard line. 
8-12 and counting first quarter. Ulysses Melendez down to the 40 yard line. He's tripped up by number 35, Orlando Martinez. This is Melendez gaining some tough yardage up the middle. He's brought down by number 84, Demarcus Bettis. With that carry by Melendez, it'll be first and 10 Cougars. Ball being set at the 36 yard line. Ulysses Melendez, Alexis Aranda on the stop. Two yards on the carry, sets up a second and eight from the 34. Ulysses Melendez for Edinburgh North and Ryan Abrigo for Edinburgh High, two of the top rushers in District 31 6A. We are privileged to see them tonight. Play action pass is complete to number two, Armani Acevedo. With that completion, it'll set up a first and 10 from the 24, 548, and counting in the first quarter. Ball carrier is number 26, Rolando Ortega. Ortega going off tackle on that carry before he's brought down by Demarcus Perez. Handoff to Ulysses Melendez. Combining on the tackle, Demarcus Perez and Isaiah Cisneros. Ball being set at the 15 yard line, third and short for the Cougars. Melendez running on the ball, gaining some tough yardage. Coming up on the stop, Angel Torres. Officials are spotting the ball just short of a first down. It'll be fourth and inches for the Cougars.
Pass is complete to Richard Molina. Touchdown Cougars. There is a flag on the play. It's against the Bobcats. The touchdown pass to Richard Molina is good. He's snapping on the extra points. Number 50, Victor Avila. Ramiro Vargas will be attempting the extra point. At the hole of Aaron Campos, extra point is up and good. Bobcat 7, Cougar 7. 328 left to play in the first quarter. Nick Gonzalez, number one, Ryan Abrigo. Kicking off for the Cougars, number 30, Ramiro Vargas. Off for the Bobcats, number 12, J.C. Valdez. On the tackle, number 26, Rolando Ortega. Hand off to number one, Ryan Abrigo. There is a flag on the play. off to number five Brian Galindo. Galindo is brought down by Eli Cardenas. Gain of two yards on the carry sets up a second and 13 from the 16. Long 
long run by number one, Ryan Abregal. That's a Bird Ogden Daligas run for Abregal and the Bobcats. The touchdown saving tackle by number one, Jose Ramirez. Ball being spotted at the 31 yard line, first and 10 Bobcats. 220 left to play in the first quarter. And off to number 18, Giovanni Villal. Combining on the tackle, number 40, Aiden Torres, and number 24, Jaden Rodriguez. JT Santa Maria steps up on the pocket. Coming up on the tackle, number five, Horacio Lopez, along with number nine, Isaiah Rico. Gain of a couple of yards on that carry will set up a third and 12 from the 33. Attending tonight's game and supporting the Bobcats are the Barrientes Bearcats. Head coach Bobby Corrales, please stand so you can be recognized. Barrientes Bearcats, please stand. Let's give them a round of applause. Future Bobcats there. As we resume action back on the field after the timeout, ball being set at the 34 yard line, third and 13 for Edinburgh High. One minute left to play in the first quarter. Touchdown, Bobcats! Ryan Abdul on the 34-yard touchdown run for Edinburgh High. That is Ryan's second touchdown of the evening. Snapping on the extra point will be Ryan Garza. Jaden Wotsevice will be attempting the extra point at the hole of Jude Vega. Wotsevice, extra point, splits the upright, and it is good. With 53 seconds left to play, the Fighting Bobcats 14, the Cougars 7. DHR Health.
Once the ice kickoff is fair caught by Eric Gopples at about the 35 yard line. Melendez on the carry. Initial contact by Demarcus Bettis. Gain of two yards sets up a second and eight from the 37. against the Cougars will set it back five yards. Be second and 13 from the 32. After one quarter of play here at Richard R. Florida Stadium, the Bobcats 14, the Cougars seven. is incomplete intended for number two Armani Acevedo with that incompletion he'll set up a third and 13 from the 32 is flushed from the pocket. He's tripped up by number 27, R.J. Ramirez. 
Ball being set at the 40 yard line, fourth and five for the Cougars. Tyler Reese's punt goes out of bounds at the 45 yard line. Carriers number one, Ryan Abrigo. Abrigo is pushed out of bounds by number 21. Excuse me, correction, number 12, Justin Badillo. to the 50 yard line. Defensively, Dominic Verial for Edinburgh North. Third and five for midfield. 10-14 and counting left in the second quarter. Abrigo carrying the ball to midfield. Isaiah Rico and Luis Ceballos combining on that tackle. J.C. Valdez, the punter for Edinburgh High. Great punt by J.C. Valdez. It is down by number two, A.J. Avila. Edinburgh North will have a first and 10 ball being set at the 14 yard line with 8.55 left. In attendance tonight, the Edinburgh High School Band would like to welcome the Barrientes Bearcat Band for tonight's game. They're here to support the Bobcats. They are future Edinburgh High Bobcat Band members. We'll be seeing Friday Night Lights soon and carrying the proud tradition of getting Division Ones with Jason Rogers as the director. Welcome, Barrientes Bearcat Band. How about that, Bobcat Band? Ulysses Melendez going off tackle, coming up on that stop for the Bobcats. Number 42, Albert Gomez, and number 90, Ryan C. Garza.
Ulysses Melendez gaining good yardage up the middle. That's a Burdock and Daligas run for Melendez and the Cougars. On the stop, Nicholas Gonzalez. off to Rolando Ortega. Ortega brought down by Orlando Martinez. Gain of three yards on the carry sets up a second and seven from the 36. Ulysses Melendez down to the 42-yard line will set up a third and one for Edinburgh North. On the stop, number 27, R.J. Ramirez. Tyler Reese's pass is complete to Fabian Pena. Pena steps out of bounds. Ball being marked at the 39 yard line, fourth and four for Edinburgh North. Tyler Reese's punt takes a Cougar bounce. It's being marked at the 22-yard line where the Edinburgh Bobcat offense will take over with 5.51 left to play in the first half. He's pushed out of bounds by number five, Horacio Lopez. Gain of five yards on the carry by Santa Maria sets up a second and five from the 27. JT Santa Maria, JT Santa Maria faking on that dive up the middle. He's brought down at about the 34 yard line.
Pass is incomplete. With that incompletion, set up a second and 10 from the 33. JT Santa Maria down to the 35 yard line. Combining on the tackle. Aiden Torres and Luis Ceballos. Play action pass is incomplete. Intended for number four, Ethan Calderon. Defensive coverage by Jose Ramirez. The punter, number 12, J.C. Valdez. The punt returners, Jose Ramirez, along with Rolando Ortega. J.C. Valdez's high punt is fielded by Rolando Ortega. It's being marked at the 29-yard line. First and 10 Cougars, 336 left to play in the second quarter. Fumble recovery by the Bobcats. DeMarcus Bettis. Bobcat fans, let's give the Bobcat defense a round of applause. Excellent defense tonight. With that fumble recovery, the Bobcat offense will have excellent field position at the Cougar 32-yard line.
runner was ruled down by contact, and the ball came out afterwards. It's second down. Officials are indicating there is no fumble. Down by contact. Second down, Cougars. Tyler Reese on the quarterback keeper. He's brought down by Nick Gonzalez. Pass is incomplete. Intended for number two, Armani Acevedo. With that incompletion, it'll set up a fourth and five from the 34. Tyler Reese's punt takes a Cougar bounce. It's being down by Richard Molina at the 36-yard line where the Bobcat offense will have a first and 10 with 2.30 left to play in the second quarter. It is my understanding that we will be having a special performance at halftime from the various dance groups from Edinburgh North, Edinburgh High, and possibly some of the junior, the middle schools here in Edinburgh CISD. Please stay tuned. Ryan Abrigo, the ball carrier, is brought down by Aiden Torres. Ryan Abrigo on the long run for the Bobcats. That's a Bird Ogden Daligas run for Abrigo and Edinburgh High. Ball being spotted at the 11 yard line. It should be first and 10. Bobcats, 146 left to play in the second quarter. JT Santa Maria calling his own number on that play, going off tackle. 
He's brought down at the six yard line for a gain of five yards. Coming up on the tackle for the Cougars, number one, Jose Ramirez. Hand off to Ryan Abrigo. There's a fumble on the play. Recovering the fumble is number 84, Demarcus Bettis. JT Santa Maria on the quarterback run up the middle. Short gain of one yard on the carry. He'll be fourth and one from the two. Can you put one second on the game clock? We have timeout, Edinburgh High. It's the second charge timeout of the first half. Touchdown, Bobcats. JT Santa Maria on the quarterback run for a touchdown. Santa Maria going off tackle on that play. Deep snapping on the extra point, Ryan Garza. Jaden Bonsevais will be attempting the extra point at the hole of Jude Vega. Extra point is up and good. After one half of play at Florida Stadium, the Bobcats 21, the Cougars 7. Enjoy the halftime performances from the Edinburgh North and the Edinburgh High marching bands and dance teams.
Cougar Band. The Edinburgh North Band was named Bands, Bands of America of South Texas, Texas Regional Finalist and placed third in 4A. The band received their 32nd straight Division I rating at the UIL Pigskin Jubilee. This week's section of the week, the drum majors. Freshman of the week, Sidney Marroquin. Upperclassman of the week, Matthew Castillo. Guard members of the week, Jocelyn Gutierrez and Dana Herrera. Tonight we showcase our 2023 production entitled Imagination, featuring music on the march and John Lennon's Imagine and pure imagination from Willy Wonka. Under the direction of drum majors Valeria Nava, Ulisa Rodriguez, and Evan Zamora, the 2023 Edinburgh North High School Mighty Cougar Band.
the Edinburgh North Cougar band directors are Mr. Chad Dempsey, Mr. Philip Johnson, Mr. Mac Guajardo, Mr. Mark De Leon, and Ms. Gabriela Carrera. Color guard instructor is Ashley Ledesma. The ENHS staff includes Jordi Arevalo, Max Valdez, George Cruz Jr., Andrea Davila, Thor Vela, Mirza Carvajal, Carolina Sanchez, and Kat De La Torre. Design team includes Andy Toth, Ryan Adamson, Rob Ferguson, Charles Williams, and Sarah Solomonson. We would like to thank the following people for the generosity and support of the Cougar Band. Our principal, Mr. George Espinosa, ECISD School Board, Superintendent Dr. Mario Salinas, ECISD Director of Fine Arts, Ms. Nalinda Villarreal, ENHS faculty and staff, Cougar Band boosters, and all of the ENHS band parents. Thank you, and go Cougars!
tonight we will be on present our special guest, the Bear Cat Band. Tonight we will be performing the 1963 Kingsman hit and the classic disco hit from 1980 in Funky Town. We would like to congratulate. High School Bobcat Band on their 21st straight Division I at the 80th Six Skin Jubilee. We would also like to congratulate our Bobcat Band on their fifth place finish at the UIL Area G Marching Contest in Laredo, Texas. Our area finalists and were two points away from advancing to state. We are so proud of you, band. Our sections of the week are the Red Knight Drumline and our amazing parents from our band Boosters. Our Rhino of the Week is Sofia Menchaca and our Rookie of the Week is Antonio Trejo. Our drum majors this year are Jasmine Torres, Mia Luna, and Alessandra Lopez. And now, get ready for the best show in Texas on a Friday night, the big, the bad. In blue, ladies and gentlemen, the pride of Edinburgh, our Edinburgh High School Bobcat Band. Take it away, Jasmine.
Javier Adame and Jessica Savino. The Barrientes Middle School principal is Mr. Omero Tijerina, and our EHS principal is Mr. Dominic Benya. A special thank you to our ECISD Fine Arts Director, Ms. Melinda Yaria, for your continued support in Fine Arts. Thank you again for all of your support, and how about that Bobcat and Bearcat Band?
kickoff for the Cougars. Number three, Aaron Campos. There is a flag on the play. On the tackle, Nick Gonzalez. Personal foul, face mask, on the kicking team, number zero. 15 yards will be added to the end of the kick. First down, Edinburgh North. Pass is complete to Jose Ramirez. Ramirez pushed out at the 40-yard line by Michael I. Cruz. There's a fumble on the play. It seems like there was a bad high snap. Officials are indicated it's recovered by the Bobcat defense. Recovering the ball, number 90, Ryan C. Garza. Ryan Abrigo, the ball carrier. That's a Bird Ogden Dalegas run. Defensively, Dominic Verial. Ryan Abrigo came in today's game unofficially with 500, excuse me, 952 yards. Based on my estimation, he has surpassed the 1,000 yard mark. Ryan Abrigo, tonight's game. Ball now being set at the Cougar 39 yard line, first and 10, Edinburgh High. JT Santa Maria on the quarterback run, coming in on the stop, number 55, Dominic Verial. No gain on the carry, second and 10 from the 39. Pass complete to Jude Vega. Vega on the catch and run for the Bobcats. It'll be a Bobcat first down. First and 10 from the 24 yard line. Ryan Abrigo, the ball carrier, going off tackle. He's brought down at about the 16-yard line. Combining on the tackle, Isaiah Rico 
and number 95, George Espinosa. Touchdown, Bobcats. Touchdown pass from JT Santa Maria to number six, Jude Vega. Excellent catch by Jude Vega, keeping his feet in bounds for that touchdown reception. Deep snapping on the extra point, Ryan Garza. Jaden Monsevice will be attempting the extra point at the hole of Jude Vega. The extra point is good. Bobcats 28, Cougars 7, 9.38 left to play in the first quarter. Device kickoff is out of bounds, automatic infraction. It'll be first and 10 from the 30, Hannaberg North. Free kick out of bounds. The kicking team. Free kick out of bounds on the kicking team. Five yards will be added from the spot ball went out. First down. Ulysses Melendez gaining some tough yards up the middle. He's brought down at the 41-yard line for a gain of nine yards, second and one from the 41. Ulysses Melendez Brought down by Nick Gonzalez at the Bobcat 49 yard line. First and 10 Cougars. Long run by running back Rolando Ortega. That's a Burdog de Dalegas run for Ortega and the Cougars on the stop. Nick Gonzalez. Ulysses Melendez is tripped up by number 27, R.J. Ramirez. 
and number 28, Alexis Aranda. Four yards on the carry by Melendez and sets up a second and six from the 22. Rolando Ortega going off tackle, coming up on the for the stop is Nick Gonzalez. Five yards on the carry sets up a third and one from the 12. Melendez down to the 10 yard line. With that carry should be an Edinburgh North first down. This is Melendez, is the ball carrier. Melendez down to the eight yard line on the stop, number 27, RJ Ramirez. Touchdown pass from Tyler Reese to number two, Armani Acevedo. Touchdown, Cougars. Team snapping on the extra point will be number 50, Victor Avila. Ramiro Vargas will be attempting the extra point at the hole of number three, Aaron Campos. Kick is up. No good. There's a flag on the play. Injury timeout. Sides on the defense number 42. We'll have a retry on the extra point. Third player for the Bobcats is zero, Nick Gonzalez. Fraction against the Bobcats will allow another play on the extra point for the Cougars. Amido Vargas' extra point is good. With 6.21 left to play in the third quarter, the Bobcats 28, the Cougars 14.
receiving the kickoff for the Bobcats, number 21, Isaiah Cisneros. Hand off to Ryan Abrigo. Stopping the momentum on that play is number 40, Aiden Torres. Santa Maria handing off to Ryan Abrigo. Abrigo down to the 25-yard line before he's brought down by Eli Cardenas. Ball being set at the 25-yard line, third and 12 for the Bobcats. JT Santa Maria's pass is intercepted by number 55, Dominic Verial. Verial is brought down shy of the end zone at about the one or two yard line. It'll be first and goal Cougars. Bad snap. Picking up the football is Ulysses Melendez. He's brought down at the 25-yard line. It'll be second and goal for the Cougars. is complete to number 44 Fabian Benya 
Pena is brought down by RJ Ramirez. Three yards of the reception will set up a third and goal from the 22. Pass is complete to number one, Jose Ramirez. Touchdown, Edinburgh North. <laughs> Deep snapping on the extra point will be number 50, Victor Avila, Amiro Vargas will be attempting the extra point at the hole of number three, Aaron Campos. Amito Vargas, extra point. Splits the uprights. 2.54 left to play in the third quarter. The Fighting Bobcats, 28. The Cougars, 21. Kickoff goes out of bounds. Automatic infraction. Free kick out of bounds on the kicking team. Ball was spotted at the 30 yard line. First down, Edinburgh High. Out of bounds infraction against the Cougars will set them back five yards. It'll be first and 10 from the 30 for the Bobcats. Ryan Abrego is brought down behind the line of scrimmage by Aiden Torres and Jaden Rodriguez. Loss of two yards on the carry sets up a second and 12 from the 28. 234 and counting left to play in the third quarter.
Ryan Abadou up the middle. Coming in on the tackle, Dominic Berial. Short gain of one yard sets up a third and 11 from the 29. Pass is complete to number four, Ethan Calderon. Calderon brought down by Jaden Rodriguez. Ball being set at the right hash. 37 yard line, fourth and three for the Bobcats. The punt returners, Jose Ramirez and Rolando Ortega. The punter for the Bobcats, number 12. J.C. Valdez. Nice punt by J.C. Valdez. It's Returning the punt is Rolando Ortega. Ortega down to the 24-yard line. Possession, Edinburgh North High School. First and 10 Cougars. On the tackle for the Bobcats on special teams, number 23. Tyler Reese on the quarterback keeper. He's brought down by number 90, Ryan C. Garza. Ulysses Melendez carrying the ball to the 36 yard line. Once again on the tackle. Number 90, Ryan Garza. After three quarters of play here at Richard R. Florida Stadium, the Bobcats leading the Cougars 28 to 21. Rolando Ortega running with the ball down to the 40-yard line. Defensively, R.J. Ramirez and Orlando Martinez. start infraction against the Cougars will set him back five yards. Ball be set at the 35 yard line second and 11.
There's a fumble on the exchange. It is recovered by Ulysses Melendez. Tyler Reese keeping the ball on that keeper. He's brought down by number 63, Esteban Damian. Fourth and 13 from the 33 for the Cougars. Tyler Reese punt is fair caught by Ethan Calderon. Bobcat fans, are you ready for the Raising Canes challenge? Show your spirit. Let's see which section wants Raising Canes box combos. Ryan Abedigo, the ball carrier, is good for nine yards. Just appears to be just shy of a first down. Isaiah Rico defensively for the Cougars. Ball officially set at the 42-yard line, second and two. Running with the ball is number one, Ryan Abrego. Abrego real close to a possible first down. Officials are indicating it's a Bobcat first down. JT Santa Maria on the quarterback keeper. He's pushed out of bounds by number nine, Isaiah Rico. We want to thank the Edinburgh High School cheerleaders for their assistance in handing out the Raising Canes box combo tickets to Section C. Congratulations to all fans in Section C, winners of the Raising Canes Challenge in tonight's game. Ryan Abedigo on the outside hits the seam. He goes out of bounds. He's pushed out of bounds by Jose Ramirez. That is a Bird Ogden Daligas run for Ryan Abedigo and the Fighting Bobcats. Ball being set at the Cougar 39 yard line, first and 10, Edinburgh High. JT Santa Maria on 
the quarterback run to the right side coming up on the tackle Isaiah Rico gain of three yards on the carry by Santa Maria sets up a second and seven for the 36 Ryan Abrego to the 35-yard line. Combining on that tackle, Isaiah Rico and Oscar Flores. Pitch to Ryan Abrego. Abrego gaining some positive yards. Officials are indicating it's a Bobcat first down. JT Santa Maria on the quarterback keeper. Doing a good job blocking for the Bobcats tonight. Number 50, Ryan Garza. 53, Adrian Salinas. 72, Julio Salas. 70, Adrian Alanis. 71, Jesus Lerma. Ryan Abrego gaining some tough yardage on that carry. Also on the offensive line, 63, Esteban Damian. Combining on that tackle, Aiden Torres and Isaiah Rico. Ball being set at the 21 yard line, third and three for the Bobcats. 535 and counting in the fourth quarter. Angel Torres, touchdown Bobcats. However, there is a flag on the play. We have a chop block on the offense, number 53 and 72. That's a 15 yard penalty from the previous spot. Repeat, third down. Fifteen yard infraction against the Bobcats on that blocking infraction will set him back to the 36 yard line. It'll be third and long. Timeout, Edinburgh. That's their first charge timeout. 
of the second half. Outstanding catch by Jude Vega. Touchdown, Bobcats. JT Santa Maria's pass to Jude Vega results in six points for the Fighting Bobcats. Jaden Montsevice. Kickoff is fair caught by number three, Aaron Campos. Rodriguez is the ball carrier. There's a penalty marker on the play.
After the play was over, you know, personal foul on the offense, half the distance to the goal, second down. Tyler Reese is flush from the pocket. His pass is complete to number one, Jose Ramirez. Ball being set at the 38 yard line, first and 10, Edinburgh North. Pass is incomplete intended for Jose Ramirez. Applying pressure on the quarterback is number 35, Orlando Martinez. out of his hands he catches it again however he's brought down at the 36 yard line by RJ Ramirez complete to number two Armani Acevedo There is a flag on the play as well. Numerous flags on the field.
We have two fouls on the play. They're both on the offense. We got holding on number 63 of the offense. We have a dead ball foul, personal foul on number two of the offense. Both will be penalized. Two infractions against the Cougars. It's a holding infraction and a dead ball foul. That will set them back to the 13 yard line. It'll be third and long. Pass is incomplete. Intended for Aaron Campos. Applying pressure on the quarterback is number 90, Ryan Garza. Tyler Reese's punt takes a Cougar pounce. It's down at the 37 yard line by Richard Molina. JT Santa Maria on the Bird Ogden Daligas run. He's pushed out of bounds at the 34 yard line. Good run by Santa Maria gives the Bobcats a first and 10 at the Cougar 34 yard line with 240 left to play in the ball game. Handoff to number 18, Giovanni Viasana. There is a penalty marker on the play.
We have a blind side block on the offense number six. That's a 15 yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Still first down. Hand off to number 18, Giovanni Viasana. Coming up on the tackle is number 21, Eli Cardenas. Second and 19 from the 43. JT Santa Maria on the quarterback run. There is some flags on the play. Dead ball foul on number 35 of the defense. That's a 15 yard penalty from the end of the run. Automatic first down. Personal foul infraction. Dead ball foul against the Cougars will set them back 15 yards. It'll be first and 10 for the Bobcats at the Cougar 27 yard line. Timeout, Edinburgh High. That's the second charge timeout of the second half.
Bobcats in victory formation. Reminder, the Bobcats will be traveling to FAR next week. They will face the PSJ Bears for the district championship. Next week here at the stadium, we will have Nikki Rowe versus Bella on Thursday, and then we will have an all Edinburgh affair between the Edinburgh North Cougars and the Economides Jaguars. Cougars 21. We would like to thank the Edinburgh CISD community partners and sponsors Silverhorn Insurance, Raising Canes, Longstar National Bank, Wing Stadium, HEB, Esquisita Tortillas, Bernogden, Fiesta Dealerships, Xerox, 